Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Roke here, and I am back in Star Trek Online for part two of the walkthrough slash for the beginners video. And we are here with Malico, the creepy black colored alien with the red spines all over the place. Alright, so, we saw in the last video, we made our character. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would. So now, let's go talk to this chick. Now, if you ever want to talk to somebody, you can right-click on this because it'll pop up right here. If it doesn't pop up right here, it'll pop up in this area over here sometimes. Or you can just hit F on your keyboard. I'm going to do that. Yay. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. All right. So some dude wants to thank us because apparently your character is a straight badass when it comes to being a cadet. So let's see what happens. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Finally knew. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron, get your assignment. You should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Oh, of course she is. Okay, so we're going to go talk to Tavrell. So, yeah, apparently everybody likes you as a person, so. Greetings. Talk to Cadet Tavrell. Greetings. Nice. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results. But you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Sweet. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Oh, good Live God. long and prosper. You couldn't tell. She definitely is a Vulcan. So, yeah. Let's continue. Don't worry about that. that. I'll tell you about everything. Oh, God. So, I apologize for this, but it's going to have to happen because this recording software does not like it when I run Star Trek Online, and it gives me a handicap. Um, what do I want to do? Keybinds. Okay, so this has to be redone. No, that's not what I picked. That's not what I picked. No. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. W. No, not control with W. Oh, good God. Okay. Cancel. Did I fix it? And I'm sorry that I have to go through this while doing this. Ah, oh, Jesus. No. Press any key from the list. Special keys. No, not a special key. Clear. Why is it holding down my left control? That's annoying. Okay, there. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, turn left. That's the one that's always messed up, and the space bar is messed up. We want that. And we need to go down here as well. I don't know if it's going to show me for the ship. Here we go. If you ever need to fix your stuff and you're on the ground but you want to fix your space, space is right there. Normally people do it the other way around, you know, they're just in space and they'll just fix it in space, but whatever. And again, sorry I have, you have to read through all this, but I gotta go through this to make sure that it actually works. Because a lot of my keys will not work with this program for some reason. Like the throttling back and stuff for my ship and all kinds of other stuff. It's really annoying. I don't know why it does that, and I really don't want to have a handicap when I go doing this, so... Boom. Space key. Okay. Let me go back to the ground. i got to fix that other one, too. And I have to do this every time. I usually edit it out. I might edit it out. I don't know. I just forgot. Okay. Does it work? Does this one work? Does this one work? Does that work? I don't know what Z does. Oh, it switches my weapons. I don't have anything to switch. Does that one work? Okay. Cool. We are good to go. No more handicap. 
Um. Okay. There you are. Getting excited yet? No. Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Ugh. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'd probably I'd probably be the grumpiest cadet you've ever met if I was in this time frame. Just saying. I don't know why. I just probably would be. I'd be that one guy that's always telling you to tighten your boot laces up better because they're too loose. Or your uniform's out of whack. I don't know. That's just me, I guess. I don't know. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Shave your face. Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Maliko. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. Okay, I'll ask him then. That's not a problem. I'll definitely ask him. You got a problem, Bri? Bri? It's a funny doorbell ring. Come. On my face? Just kidding. Okay. Good at. Uh. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. That back there, if we could pick between the two, that's just a... You'll get a different dialogue. I don't think it really... It doesn't really affect what happens. It just gives you a different dialogue from the person you're talking to. I they're, did. They're working on like it. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Okay, cool. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell hmm. Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her hmm. to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Thurry it thur. Oh, nope, we're not saluting. Nope. We're gonna be that one asshole cadet, remember? Okay. So, I wasn't, I didn't really go into detail on how to get around and stuff like that. Just the standard WASD keys to get around, like most MMOs and other games alike. Also, if you hit M on your keyboard, it'll bring up your map. It always, majority of the time, if you're, like, in an instance and you decide to click on your galaxy map and you're still in that same instance and you haven't left to go anywhere else, like, for instance, say you're on the... Academy here and you decide that you click on your galaxy map and then you um, Go to ESD as soon as you bring up your map again. It should be on your area map Just one of those small little tips. It doesn't really matter. So anyways, here's your galaxy map It shows you where everything is For the most part it um, only highlights the main systems in each sector slash block whatever you want to look at it as. See, this is a block line right here. The darker the line, it'll tell you if it's a block line. This is the Pecanus, Pecanus, however you want to say it. Tau Dewa or Dewa, whatever. Uh, Cy Valorum, Alpha Centauri, um, Iota Pavonis, the, I don't even know if that's right, Sirius Block, the Regulus, and so on and so forth. Their names are right here above the main part of the block. And like I said, these darker lines are going to, or more def definite lines are going to be your, what marks off the block. It shows you how big it is. And these right here are your sections um, where you warp to another block. They're talking about making it to where there's no warp screens and it's just one big map with lines that depicts where what is. So, yeah. Um... I uh, hope they update the map because these nebulas and stuff like that no longer exist. That is one of the things they just took out in the recent patch. There used to be a bunch of ex exploration missions and stuff like that. Really good for role playing and stuff like that, but, you know, they took it out. So, I'm not going to go into detail with that, but these right here that don't have a name above them are places that you can go. So, you can go from the Sirius Sector block to the Beta Ursa block. But, keep in mind, 
that you can only go to some of these places once you reach a certain level so for instance um, if you are like level 1 through 10 I don't know exactly where all you get to go because I haven't played it in so long but I'm pretty sure that it's only this area and here the Omega Leonis block that is in uh, Empire space only Klingon space only and just like if you're playing a Klingon and you're some for some reason watching this video I don't know why but you are not allowed in this entire space Sirius and Regulus blocks no can do you can't go here but you can go up and you can go all the way the hell around if you need to get up here and you can go over here I think yeah you can go over here to go to the Deferi sector over here and then you have to go through here to get to the Beta Ursa block kinda sucks being an Imperial sometimes but yeah they get better abilities I think they're the same abilities it's just they're better with their tactical stuff because it is a warlike race it makes sense I understand so anyways back to the map after my little rant and the bubbles will show you where your mission is the little upside down exclamation points which kinda depicts a person somewhat without arms the poor bastard that is where you need to go usually sometimes it'll look different I don't know if they changed that or not in the recent patches but it used to be like a little marker like these guys just a little bigger and more defiant um, or definite whatever you want to call it definitive so we gotta go we gotta go to this bubble here and talk to cadet Eliza or Lisa Flores okay and you press down you tap on the shift key while, while you're running to run so like if you stop you'll just start walking again so you gotta just tap it you don't have to hold it down or nothing like that unless you really like having the sticky keys thing pop up on your screen every time you do it anyways I got the tactical officer spot just what I wanted Yay! Uh, he wants me to go shoot stiff you never did that nope. I thought you were mr. extra credit everyone knows that captain Tigard expects all his top people to pass that program and I thought you were funny don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Hmm. The voice acting is a little raw, ship. but yeah, well. Come on, stupid. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I have not. I never seen to spot them. There's one running right next to me. J.K. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. If you don't know who that is. Um, he's a little hologram that does like a mission and stuff, and she's waiting on me to run. Okay. Anyways, at consoles like these right here, it kind of does like the his history of the Star Trek universe and st such. So, if you want to know some more about that stuff, pieces like this around here and run the academy when the mission is up, um, you can do it. But I'm not gonna do it right now. We're not worried about that because it has no effect on us. I'm going to beat her this time. Yeah. Suck it, Flores. Ha. In your face. I win. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. I don't ask for advice. I need Phasers a phaser. Are in the by the Let's go. I got you, bruh. Like, what do you call a girl if you go around calling people bruh all the time? Like, you call a dude bro. I've understand that. And what do you call a girl? Is it a bra? You know, like a bra that you wear? Or, I don't know. I find that to be a good question. I know that there's a term out there, and I just can't remember what it is. But, you know, I just find that a little funny. Okay, so i got to go forward a little bit. Oh, did I equip my phaser? Oh, thank God for that. That would have sucked. I would have started karate chopping people left and right. Like a boss. And just start shooting people. This part is really easy. Um, whenever you're in combat, it doesn't really tell you much about it, but um, unless it does, then I turned off my tutorial stuff. But once you get in here, all you got to do is just click this button randomly. It doesn't really matter. As long as it uh, is counting down. You'll see like a number one or something like that, or a five. It, 
that number just depicts how many seconds that uh, attack is lasting. So once it's done, it'll have like a, a little, it'll turn yellow kind of, and it'll have like a bar that drops once it's about finished. See, that one was blue. It's because it doesn't have a cooldown. So whenever it goes back down, click the button again. It's whatever. And you hit X to holster your weapon. Not Z. I messed that up before, so... Why is that doing that? That is new. Or is it H? It's H! What the hell? Okay. Oh, it's been a long time. Okay, so H holsters and unholsters your weapon. Yay. So you can be like, you know, do some... I don't know. Lone Ranger stuff from the Wild West. Stick a bit! Just kidding. And Z switches between the two weapons that you have. I got my judo chop and a um, stick with a pointy part on the end of it. Well done, cadet. It shoots lasers. You're not going to break the academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. I'll show you Absolutely. satisfactory. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Yes. Hell yeah. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So we talked to her. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Okay, so like I said, these will just give you different dialects, or uh, not dialects, but different uh, responses from this character. It doesn't really affect the story all the time. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple missions out there that it kind of affects the story, but I'm pretty sure it's just all... A different response from the characters you're talking to. I think the only one that it actually does that for is um, missions when you actually get to the beta or so sector blocks and stuff like that when you're fighting the Dominion. Now those and you can get accolades which is pretty much like achievements or trophies so to speak so keep that in mind if you want to get accolades and stuff like that pick uh, different things and Everything except for tutorials you can go back and do. So if you missed an accolade and you want to go back and get it, feel free. Go ahead and go back and get it. I had to go back and get the, um, the Dominion War Veteran uh, accolade, which is like you killed 10,000 Dominion uh, forces on the ground, I think is what it was. So it takes a while, but it gives you like special titles and stuff like that. And like My main character is um, Roke, Dominion War Veteran blah 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 so yeah um just click this one don't let it go to your head buddy i will you'll do great but we should head up to the shuttle bay everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off let's go why am i what am i staring at when i've noticed sometimes it'll look now to his left if you're facing in a weird bay. direction like if departure. you're um running in this direction and you're facing another direction. He actually turns his head. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh god. All of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. I just realized this same voice actor plays a Ferengi chick that is really annoying and talks like this. Shay, you wanna help me out? I'd rather punch you in the throat. Can I do that? Of course not. And this is perfect. You know, everybody going on their first mission, their first flight on a starship that is built for discovery and somewhat war, but nobody's gonna say that. Because apparently Starfleet can have warships. Anyways, it's just a good idea. Everybody get drunk. Just get wasted. Let's do it. Um, so this is another thing. You can get different responses out of people. It doesn't really change what you do. So I'm going to inspire. Be humble. Um, you can read this if you want on the screen there. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to find a different response. Because I've done this. This is my third or fourth time now. Um... I just like doing the tutorial. It's kind of nice. It's better, way better than the last one. Um, galvanize. Okay. Raise a class to the 2409 class. Let's go streaking! That would be awesome. It's not going to happen, but 
Are you ready to be kind of cool. Ship? Uh, sure. There's something on your face. Okay, so we're going up to our ship. And our ship is awesome. Wait till you see it. It is super awesome. Your starting ship is so cool. It is so cool. I miss my starter ship. It is fantastic. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. That's what she said. <laughs> USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, oh. a crew of 750, oh. auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. Uh, I don't I even can't know what that is. Wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. If you notice by now, I was just kidding. 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5. Point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. <gasps> yeah! In case you couldn't tell, I was just kidding. I can't stand the Miranda class. This is the ugliest thing I've ever saw. It's like a saucer got shoved into a box half the halfway in, and then they just left it there. And then propped it up on, I don't know, like a... One of those um, put it together yourself shelves that you can put in like dorm rooms and stuff. If anybody went to college, you might know what I'm talking about. It's like a little grate with uh, little plastic pieces that hold it together. It's kind of what I think of, you know, a plate shoved into a box and somebody got lazy and just said fuck it and threw it on one of those things on top of one. That's just what I feel like. So, anyways, let's talk to her again because you got to do this a lot. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. Sweet. See you there. Okay, check in over here. Just remember, if you're ever looking at your map, you can zoom out super damn far, which is kind of ridiculous. You don't need to do that. But if you don't feel like pulling up your actual map, you can do this right here. It'll kind of show you where it is. And uh, you can zoom back in and find where you need to go. But your mini map is here to help. I'll get into this stuff later because you do not need it at this moment. Name and position? Your boss. I have your record right here, sir. That's what I thought. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Woo. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Thank you very much. I did not know you were Captain Kirk's granddaughter. Okay, anyways, hey, my spikes are kind of disappearing there. Glitch. Report it. Somebody report it. Report it now. There's something wrong with the alien crowns well horns alien horns they disappear on the back of your head anyways talk to the captain okay speak Welcome to, the, to captain. the bridge number one number one has to take a number two early in my career I served with a captain who called his first officer that I always liked it as my number one I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation Okay. But first, we need to get out of dry dock. Get right. clearance from control and close okay. the shuttle bay doors. Okay. Then disable the tractor moorings. Okay. Hey, let's let's start it. Tavrell, get clearance from traffic control for the McKeb to leave the gantry. Gantry? Gantry? I, I don't know. Montgomery Gantry? Uh, no. Just stop. Earth traffic Just control stop. has cleared us to depart, sir. Okay. I'm calm. Okay, we're clear to depart. One. He says this the entire time. I'm not even going to bother with that shit. Okay, here we go. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. See, watch. Very good, number one. I'll punch you. Okay. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. All right, so let's go turn off some tractor beam thingy ma bobbers. It's kind of like a giant anchor for water, except we're in space, so we don't have anywhere to throw an anchor. There's no bottom of the ocean here. That would be one long-ass chain to get an anchor to drop to the bottom of the universe. I don't suggest it. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock. 
Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Okay. Here we go. Sit in our badass chair. Oh, if you want to sit in chairs, it'll have like a little chair picture for your mouse, and you right click on it. And not all of them can do that, but vast majority of them now. They used to be to where you have to do an emote to sit down, but anyways. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Everybody knows that one. That's cheating. Meow. <laughs> Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Break Even. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sentence can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Okay. You got it. Let's see. You heard the oh, distress God. call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is it a test, sir? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even. So it's our duty to assist. Uh, yeah. Good. What do you advise? Um, if it was me and I was the captain, I would do this, but I already know what he's going to say. He's just going to tell me that seems a little drastic, doesn't it? Hell no, it don't seem drastic. You never know what you're going to fly into, especially in this game. I always have my weapons ready to go. We're gonna do, I guess, this one. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. Number one is going to take a number two in the transporter room. Okay. So we're gonna take the turbo lift down to the transporter deck. Just remember, there's always that little yellow circle. Sometimes it's white. Keep that in mind. Oh, and your character does not have a voice yet. So, if you want to read that stuff, sometimes it's a paragraph and they don't give you enough time readings. to read it. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hurry up, Catman. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chunt. Rawr. If you don't know what a Klingon is, it's a really ugly bastard that always has dreads and a really huge forehead. Just so you know. Oh, security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. All right. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. There, right there. Okay. Let's go to this dude waving his hands. Just run down the hallway. This one's pretty straightforward. Okay, screw that guy. He has nothing for us. We have the command codes. Because we are the first officer. We're awesome. These guys look up to us. Like, oh no. It's the first officer. Hide all your shit. There's actually there actually is a mission where if you um what's it called? You can confiscate contraband from your crew. And sometimes I have lost people because of this uh duty officer mission. It's pretty crazy. Like my crew has killed people over their contraband. Like it could be that serious. Okay. Here, my good. That was an epic scream. She not dead yet? Jesus Christ! Come on. Sniper shot. Disintegrate. No, no disintegration. All right. If you see an item on the ground, you can walk up to it. If it's yours, it's gonna glow like that one was. Maybe it'll be another one, and I won't pick it up so you can see it. 
All right, shoot this dude in the butt or in the spine. I didn't do anything. That was horseshit. Sometimes this game has been glitching out here lately, where you can't see what if your gun's firing or not. Just look for the yellow letters above that person's head that you're shooting at, so you know. And in case you didn't see it, over here on the right was the mission priority parameter, whatever you want to call it, what I was supposed to do, but it wasn't in the middle. It didn't pop up in the middle at all. So yeah, it's just one of those things to keep an eye out for. Alright, come on. Can I shoot this thing? Or am I not allowed? Yay! And you can't go through this. But you sure as hell can stand in it. Number one. We're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I slept in class, man. I guess we're going to go improve the weapons. Depending on what class you are depends on what's at the end of this hallway, what it's going to say in this turbo lift. It might say, I don't know, engineering room or something. Oh, I'm tired. Alright, here we go. Kapow! Disintegrated! Now, when you go through this at first, it's going to be super freaking easy. Unless you up the difficulty, which I don't know if you can do that for tutorials. I'm not going to try. I'll go over that later. Just keep in mind, if you up the difficulty, it just makes the game harder. It doesn't uh, give you better gear or anything like that. Not even better drops. You get the same damn drops. It's pointless, I think. I mean, you might as well play it at the normal level. Like everybody else. Thirteen. You're all gonna die. Oh, this one has shields. The blue line above this Klingon said that I just disintegrated and this guy right here, or chick, whatever that is, that is their shields. These guys don't have very good shields right now. Sometimes these guys can be a real pain in the ass, though. Alright, that one's dead. I think it's the last one. Nope, one more. There we go. Yay. Okay, tapping F because it's over there and I don't f I'm too lazy to move my mouse from right here to right here to click it. Okay, so that's good to go. Alright. Number one, we've got injured up here. Go see okay, so we got injured. This area. That part was pretty straightforward. You just go up to the blinking consoles, if you've ever seen one, and that's what you do. Go right click or hit the F button or don't be lazy like me and actually put your mouse over here and click it. So, anyways, turbo lift. Oh my god! And that's a chick. Even our women are butt ugly. No wonder they fight all the damn time. They gotta go home to that. Can I shoot you? There we go. Alright. I am falling asleep here. I might have to end this one short. I was going to try and finish up most of the space stuff, but I might pass out on you guys. There's going to be like 30 minutes of pure silence and the sound of s broken wires st uh, electrifying each other and steam and all kinds of other stuff. I don't know if you want that. Let's try and heal this cadet. Can I heal a cadet? Yay! Okay, I got to heal one more. You it? No. I don't think there's a guy down there, no. What about you? Are you broken? You're broken. Uh, no. I'm not gonna stoop to your level to rule. Stealing people's food. Dirty hoe. Okay. Transmission from the Klingons. On screen! This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chalk. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. 
Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. I'm gonna call no balls on that, sir. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Highly doubt it. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! I have no idea what he just said. Captain Taggart, or whoever his name is, was a little over dramatic. We have target lock, Captain. Fire everything! Give me one of these crackers, little boy. Thank you. We messed him up good. Oh man, I love a good saltine cracker. What now? Hmm. Hmm. Probably the worst time to eat a cracker. But anyways, <laughs> there's one of these boxes right here. It's not a, more of a box, it's more like a capsule. Ooh, very dry. Man. Ah. I hope you enjoyed listening to me eat a cracker. I'm very hungry. Anyways, this is what the box looks like. And if it's glowing like it is right now, you can pick it up. If it's not yours, it'll just be the box. You won't have all the, the flare or the orange lines going through it or the big white light going through your ceiling. It'll look like th that. Absolutely nothing. It's there. It's just it might as well not be there. We we survived, but the captain eating another cracker. Captain Tiger knew what would happen. Man, crackers he are gave awesome. the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. Okay. Alright, no more crackers. It's missing out my commentary. Alright. So. See this here? You will not see that in any other um, visual of that window. That window is going to be black with a bunch of white dots everywhere. Right click on the chair to sit down. And I think I'm going to stop it here because I'm getting pretty tired I don't know why I just am hmm okay so we got new officers and we'll go into that in the next video but thank you very much for watching if you uh, like what you saw rate comment subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of um, pretty much like a beginner's guide slash walkthrough part three and be sure to check out other videos that I made. Most of them are pretty dumb, but the other ones, most people who are watching this one are looking for Star Trek stuff. So check those out as well. So, yep, I'll see you guys in the next one.